My name is Jody Fernandez and I am the 9th and 10th grade history teacher at Girard College High School. I am also a mentor here. We at Girard College celebrate black futures every day. It's part of what we do and part of our mission. It's a special time to place emphasis on a race that has been underrepresented and suppressed since the beginning of our nation. And it's important to realize, and this is what holds the most meaning to me, is that the black community is so much more than their history, so much more than the things that have happened in the past. There are so many important contributions that have been made, you know, not only to benefit the black community, but so many contributions from the black community that influences the entire world. The most critical part of ensuring black futures, I believe personally, is philosophy. Skills can be easily learned. Um, that's why there's training when you go for jobs and when you're starting a new career. But philosophy is something that takes a little bit more time. So as an educator, I feel that the most critical thing that I can do to ensure the success of my students is to mentor them and help them to understand what it means to be a productive member of the community have them think about ways that they can change the world and help them interpret the world around them. There's so many different things that could be done, but it, it all starts with a solid philosophy. Many of the students that I've spoken with regarding their futures and where they're headed after high school, many of them surround making their own businesses, whether it be a clothing line or jewelry. The common theme seems to be creativity and creating and not just working for someone but becoming their own entity. What can be changed in general with schools to help ensure black futures really starts at the core values of the institution. Every school has a mission statement. Um, many have a diversity statement and core values and I was recently a part of an activity in which we examined the mission statements of many different schools and it was really shocking to see that so many institutions don't explicitly mention racism and if anything it seems like they want to avoid that conversation. So I believe that the most essential thing to change or to even reevaluate in many cases is to start with that mission statement. It really provides insight on the intentions of that community. If I could leave my students with one bit of advice this year, it would be to always show up as yourself. You know, there's a time and place for everything, but always be authentic and do the uncomfortable work that it takes to get you where you need to be and never settle for less than what you set out for.